President of the Grenada Union of Teachers, Lydon Lewis, complained of students having to face bat droppings and other unsanitary conditions upon their return to school on Monday. Speaking today via telephone, Mr. Lewis says it is still unclear as to the fate of children as the new building is still not complete. He is clamoring for the government to put pressure on the contractor to complete the project. Well, as it relates to St. Mary's, I think the government needs to put pressure on the contractor to deliver that new building. Um, it's appalling what, um, what has happened for the last three and a half years. This school is, is more than two and a half years overdue and the contractor is not doing uh, much to ensure that the, com- the, the project is completed. Uh, therefore, um, somebody has to, to put pressure to allow the school to get its main building. And then it would ease up on the problems of the, the other buildings that are used as makeshift accommodation for the students. And the school crisis extends to students on the Sister Isles, where students of Bishop's College are facing a similar situation. The GOT president is also appalled at the condition of the school facility. He said students will be allowed back to school on Monday, where an assessment will be conducted. Um, we, I visited Bishop's College um, yesterday, and we were appalled by the, the conditions that existed at that um, premier secondary school. Um, we, I have met with the, the staff, the principal, and we have taken a decision that we would um, not return. There will be no school there until Monday. On Monday, we would make an assessment of the conditions and we would determine whether our teachers will remain on site or whether um, school would continue. But from where we sit right now, although there have been efforts by the Minister for Caracuan, Piti Matik Affairs, to assist um, his effort, um, it has um, not been enough to get um, school on its way. And therefore, we have no other alternative but to ask our members of staff to remain home. Lois is calling on the Ministry of Education to find alternative accommodation for staff and students at Bishop's College. Um, in regards to the situation at Bishop's College, I, I, from all information, that school is a mark for a complete overhaul, a complete um, repair, um, a new school, in fact, with additional buildings. What has to happen now is that there needs to be some alternative accommodation that is suitable for um, the students and teachers to operate in a conducive manner, um, um, yes, in a conducive environment so that um, our students would not be and teachers would not be disenfranchised in any way. Uh, What we're asking for is good temporary accommodation for the students and teachers of Bishop's College. Last month, Chief Education Officer Elvis Moreen addressed the issue of late reopening of some schools on the island, which includes the school aforementioned. Another school that has some delays in completion is the Bonaire Government School in St. Mark. Colin Campbell, GBN News.